What's up everybody? It's Gacious Dude here and today I'm going to be playing Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes which is a precursor to Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and if you know anything about me or you've seen videos on my other channel you know that I'm a big Metal Gear Solid 5 fan and I was really hyped for this game to come out. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes if you don't know is like the precursor pretty much to Metal Gear Solid 5 it's very short. It's kind of like a inter it's kind of like a demo, uh, so that you get used to the newer controls. And like the main story of importance is the first mission, which is the mission we're playing, which is the Ground Zeroes mission. <laughs> and it it is the events that happen like directly before the beginning of Metal Gear Solid Five: Phantom Pain. It's so pretty. I mean, look at that gun. Look how realistic it looks. Look at the reflective in his shades. Look at this mysterious person walking up. Huh. She told us everything. Don't worry. I kept my word. She didn't suffer long. Here. You earned it. How's it feel to play the traitor? Again. <laughs> no more war games. You're a real man now, soldier. Ricardo Chico Valizio Libre, young volunteer in Snake's private army. Those are fast. Give my regards to your boss when you get home. Strange thing is even now that I've played both games, still not 100% sure why Chico has the headphones like jammed into his like chest right there. It, I don't really don't get it. Like, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, the reasoning for it. If anybody knows, comment below, because I'm very interested to know why he, he does that. Oh. Something, I don't know. I'm not going to spoil anything from Metal Gear Solid 5. I'm going to just talk about basically what's going on in, like, maybe things from past games. Like, this game comes directly after in the timeline of... Uh, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, which was a mobile game that maybe a lot of people didn't get the chance to play, but it had some important. It's a, it's got a lot of important facts for this game, but they do give you like backstory and everything that you can look up in the options or the separate menus at the beginning. Just so you Ten know. Ten days ago, we got reports that Pass was still alive. She survived. She was rescued by a Belizean fisherman who found her drifting in the Caribbean. So what's the plan? Silence her before we're compromised? No. I've got something else in mind. Our friends at Cypher suspect Paz could be a double agent. She's being held for interrogation at a camp on the southern tip of Cuba. Black site. Nice. A slice of American pie on communist soil and out of U.S. legal jurisdiction. The upcoming inspection of Mother Base has to be connected somehow. The timing's too perfect. The U.N.'s nuclear inspection. My guess is they're trying to corroborate Pass's leak. What an army without a nation. Word of our capabilities gets out, and we'll have the whole world out to shut us down. Having an American private intelligence agency involved is bad news. Cypher's the ones who sent Pass to us in the first place. She knows their true nature. Right. Pass is our only link to Cypher. If she's still alive, we need her on our side. Yeah, so, just some basic background knowledge. Cypher is bad, guys. <laughs> and, uh, basically they sent Paws, uh, and she was a spy in Mother Base. But you found out by the end of the game, and then there was a fight, and then you thought she was dead. But, turns out she wasn't dead, they found her, somebody fished her out of the ocean, and now she's at this black site being interrogated, which she knows secrets from other base so you don't want you want to go and recover her because she also knows secrets about the bad guys so you want to see if you can get her on your side 
so that she can tell you where the bag is. Skullface, Commander of Zoth. Identity unknown. This pirate crackdown's a go. Move. Skullface himself is such a cool character. <laughs> and I mean, like, cool in the way, like, he just acts like cool. Like, he's just. He's got this kind of like swagger or something. And the voice actor, like, I love the voice. It, like, at first I didn't know, like, I heard his voice and I was like, that sounds kind of weird, but then I got used to it and I was like, you know, he's really fucking cool. And then. <laughs> uh, he's just like. He's so, like. There was so much mystery around his character before the game came out. Nobody so knew. the other target? That would be Chico. He's being held in the same area as Paz. Last radio contact was 40 hours ago. Find them both. Bring him back alive. Enter the compound from the south cliff. Secure Chico and Paz, then report back from the rendezvous point. It's the Zoth patch, which is a mirror of the Fox patch. It's mirrored and the colors are swapped. And I think it's a really cool design. <laughs> Just because it's a mysterious organization that has a patch that looks exactly like your old patch. We'll send a chopper from across the Cuban border. You should be back at Mother Base in time for lunch. You'll probably just miss our guests. The only catch is, you go in solo. The politically sensitive nature of the mission means backup is not an option. Fine. I like some alone time now and then. Snake is wearing the fox patch on his right shoulder, but on his left shoulder he has the uh, MSF, the Military Sans Frontières badge which is a basically a Pangea symbol that's kind of shaped like a skull. <laughs> I'm in front of the prison camp. Excellent snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. The man that needs no introduction. <laughs> Yep. If you haven't played the other games, it's uh, they swap voice actors for Snake. Now he's voiced by Kiefer Sutherland. I think Kiefer does a pretty good job. At first, I was kind of bummed, but eh, I understand why they did it. Directed by Hideo Kojima. The man deserves all the credit for these games. <laughs> he really deserves a lot of credit. And they kind of. Konami, he left Konami. I think they might have got rid of him. Uh, it was pretty bad. <laughs> Chico and Paz are being held in an old, unused part of the compound. Get inside and head northeast. This is an infiltration mission. You've got to stay out of sight. Before you go any further, use your binoculars to recon the area. We had no more than a dozen guys at Barranquilla. Some of them with barely enough gear to protect themselves. Now here we are, not one year later. Over 300 men strong. But the way I see it, this is still our zero hour. Once this mission's behind us, I want to pitch you some ideas about expansion. What do you see? Press the call button to get more intel. There's the prison full of enemy combatants abducted from around the world. So, basically the new thing in this game is marking. You're all, you're able to look at an enemy through the binoculars or just stare at them long enough. Uh, it'll mark them and then you can basically track their movements through objects and everything. And 
I really like it. I think it's a good way to incorporate the like the massive world or whatever that they've created. It makes it, like since you no longer have like a radar or anything, so you can tell where people are. Uh, it does make it a lot easier, and it's fun because it, like it keeps you focused on what's going on, and I really like that. And that's something that the older games, uh, like having the radar system, kind of took away because you're constantly staring at the radar instead of looking at the game. And another thing over here. Let me see if I can. Right here. Let's go ahead and pick that up. XOF. Ooh. Now you saw earlier in the helicopter those guys jumped a bunch of badges. And you can go around and your weapon while crawling, you can move horizontally left or right. If you do that holding the dash button, you'll move faster. What is this? What? How? Hmm. Yeah. This is one of the hardest badges to find, because if you didn't listen to the tutorial, and you didn't do that, then you would have never figured this out. And you have to, like, kind of keep rolling around until you trigger it. Another unit patch. Could there be more of this? Mm. Keep low. You can check the controls on the pause screen. Yeah, whenever you see that, like, flare, or whatever, that screen flare, <laughs> it's, uh... That means it's directly on you and you shouldn't move. But with the rain and everything, I pretty much just run around. No way to climb an obstacle. Press the action button. <laughs> Alright, so you have three options. You can either uh, interrogate, knock them out, or kill them. <laughs> and it's always good to interrogate somebody, basically, so it's like, you can get them to call their friends over, or you can have them, like, give you info. The map has been updated. <laughs> See, that's very good info. Now I know where a sniper rifle is. It's on my map, and I'll be able to find it if I want to use it. That's, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> But, like, for the purposes of this playthrough of this game, I'm going to be killing everybody because it makes it a lot easier to backtrap on the map. Yeah, unless they find the body, then they usually replace the guy. Uh, so, but it's like, if you keep the bodies hidden and you kill everybody, it's like, because there's a lot of going back and forth, and I don't want to have to deal with running into the same dudes and having to knock them out and everything, so I'm just going to kill everybody. <laughs> That is one thing I don't like. There is kind of like, score-wise, there is a sl there is like a penalty to killing people, <laughs> and it's like I don't feel like there should be because <laughs> it's like I'm a secret spy, fucking soldier of fortune. It's like I kill people. It's what happens. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be deducted points. I should get more points. You know how hard it is to kill somebody. Much harder than knocking them out, I tell you that. Now head east to the old prison area. You can bring up the target's location on your iDroid. I know there's something coming. I've played this game enough times so like, I have a pretty good idea of where Take everybody is. Take a good is. look at the enemy through your binoculars, and you can mark him. Marked enemies can be sensed when nearby, even if there's a wall between you and them. But it only works if you stop and take the time to focus your attention. This helps you maintain situational awareness. Try it. Here we go. Here we go ahead and stay hidden. Eyes open, boss. Play the game set up. It pretty much you can play pretty much however you want. You can go in, you can go loud, you can shoot everybody, or you can be sneaky. So I'm gonna try to be sneaky 
And if I fail to be sneaky, then I'm gonna get loud. But 